Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for August 11th, Saturday. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could be yesterday, tomorrow, next week, last week, whatever. This is the energy that I am picking up on today, okay? And, you know, I've had a, a couple things happen. So I woke up this morning abruptly from uh, with the words, do you want it or not? I mean, loud. They came out of my mouth. I mean, I said it out loud, pretty loud. Do you want it or not? Now I'm like, okay, all right. Do you want it or not? So then all kinds of things go through my head. And I know exactly what this is. Well, I know there's a couple things. I have some options here. So imagine this is just for me. This is a message for today. Do you want it or not? It's about making a choice. Do you want this or not? That's what this is about. Um, then, you know, I, I got online, whatever. And this song came up. You don't own me. You don't own me. You don't own me. I'm not just one of your many toys. You don't own me. Um, so, just take that as a message. It made me laugh. It it really did because that's what's going on in 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 my situation. All right. Um, don't tell me I can't go with other boys. You know that's how it goes. Now, if you're in a commitment, yeah, all right. But you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Enjoy a little vacation together. Is that what this is? Maybe that's what somebody wants. Time out. Let's go. Let's go away. Let's go do something. You deserve love. You are lovable. Don't forget what you deserve. Maybe you need to take a little vacation. What do you want? What do you want? You want a commitment? Do you want to go back? Do you want someone new? Do you want independence? What do you want? What a messed up situation. Knight of Swords reversed. Take your time making this decision, okay? There's no rush. There really isn't. Perhaps your energy is being drained by your own indecisiveness. Thinking about, take all, like I said, the Eight of Cups reversed. Take all the time you need to think about this decision. Some of you are thinking about going back to something. Some of you are thinking about moving on. Some of you are thinking about both. There's a, a emotional, disappointing decision that is on the mind. There's no doubt about it. Okay, somebody is is going through some mental conflict that is really hindering their progress in any direction. What do you want? And there's a lot of thinking about what I want. What do I want? What the hell do I want? Oh, the moon reversed, okay? So this is the, the confusion, the back and forth. This is the back and forth. 
What is the reality of this situation? I mean, what's the reality right now today? Eight, so the time is now. What is the reality right now? Because that's where you're really at. The tower. Oh, fuck. Excuse my language. Okay. So, you know, the shit is going to hit the fan. Like, now or in the near future. Reality is going to hit. Because the moon reversed is reality. It's the truth coming out. The reality is going to hit. And there's going to be a rude awakening. Could happen right suddenly, out of the blue, very quickly. Because somebody hasn't been able to master their emotions and head in the right direction. Somebody's been stuck. There's been a lack of discipline, a loss of, of self, and a lack of willpower. Somebody hasn't, hasn't found the strength to move forward and do something. And the universe sees that. Okay, transformation is needed. This is a card of transformation, but somebody's not allowing. A change is needed. A change is needed. And your seven is divinely guided. You're being divinely guided to make a change, but you're not doing it. So the, here comes the universe or the tower, the, the rude awakening that changes everything. Because you deserve love. You're dealing with an untrustworthy individual. I mean, that Knight of Swords reverse is an untrustworthy individual who stomps on anybody that gets in their way, doesn't even really get to know them, has a, an agenda, and is going for that agenda. So I feel as though you're in the process or in the you're at the point where you need to make a decision. What do you want? Do you want it or not? That's what I heard. What do you want? Do you want it or not? Do you want it or not? Yeah. It's like I mean, the judgment reversed. There's, there's a lot of doubt here. There's a lot of loathing. There's a lack of awareness. Refusing to open your eyes. Refusing to speak the truth. Refusing to see the truth, even though you know the truth. But, I have to tell you, with this card, the judgment and the moon reversed, some, there is going to be a reveal, a revelation, some kind of epiphany that is going to come out that cuts through the confusion some shit is going to hit the fan to wake somebody up and make them decide what they want Freedom, liberation. Ten of Swords reverse. Somebody is going to be cut something out of their lives. They're going to free themselves. Ten of Swords reversed from some confusion. The confusion is going to be cut. Something's going to happen that is going to bring you clarity and allow you to drop this sorrow, to drop this grief, the, to drop this, this guilt and this hurt. Whatever it is you're holding on to. Fears, perhaps. Something's going to happen that's going to push you over the edge. And I think that you're kind of prepared for it. I do. I think that you're kind of prepared for it. You saw this coming. And now it's here. The time is now. This is kind of like an answer to your prayers. It's, it is. Because you have been unable to... To move forward on your own. 
you've been unable to make this decision, you've been living in confusion, knowing that this was going to happen, but trying to postpone it, trying to postpone it. But now, the universe is here to say, wake up. Because you deserve love. You deserve love. You deserve a person that puts in effort, that wants to work together with you, that wants to, you know, do whatever it takes to make it work. You deserve companionship. You deserve somebody that's interested in what you're doing. That is interested in your life. It feels as though, you know, somebody is is really wanting romance to the point where they may be in a bad romance. You know, where there's, there's no victory and success in this relationship, whatever, that somebody is in. It is. It's, it's, a, it's like bad romance. And maybe it's time to take a break and figure out what you want, what you deserve. And make sure that you're making the choices based on your future, what, you know, your future goals. What's going to be best for you in the future? Can you see yourself living this life that you're living now in three years from now? Is this where you want to be? Because right now is where it's at. Do you really think things are going to change? That's a lie. I believe there's a new opportunity for real romance it, once this confusion, this whatever, this bad romance is cut, whatever this bad romance is. But right now, somebody is in a situation that is only hurting them with this Knight of Swords reverse. It's only you're in a situation that's not bringing you anything but upheaval. But somebody's refusing to, to become aware. They're refusing to wake up. But the wake-up call is imminent okay so I feel as though there is a rude awakening coming that is going to force you to make a decision to figure out what it is you want and what you deserve do you want it or not damn good question So it's about making a decision about what you deserve. That's what today is about, August 11th. Talk to you later. Be prepared for a shitstorm. <laughs>